I've been real lucky. Some of my uh, some of my best jobs have been my worst jobs. Some of the ones that I've learned the most from have been the worst ones. Uh, I remember my father, who my friends nicknamed the Zen Master, told me to grab a change of clothes one early Saturday morning and come with them. And we arrived at one of the buildings, the doctor's buildings, and when he opened the door, uh, the smell hit me in the face. And I was like, Dad, what is that? And he said, one of the sewer pipes in the basement broke. And I said, we got to get some, the building's going to be opening in a couple hours. We got to get someone over here to clean this up. And he says, oh, I already called, I already got someone. And he looked at me and I was like, no, dad, come on, no. And as I'm sitting at the top of the steps, looking down the basement while there's sewer just running freely, he says, you want to own it one day? It starts right there. He goes, I'll see you in an hour or two. Make sure you hose yourself off when you're done. And I went down the steps, and my first two jobs with my father were cleaning toilets and shoveling crap, uh, and not in that order. But here's what I learned. You learn a lot when you're down at the very bottom of any enterprise. You learn how things operate. You learn what's important. You learn what the problems are, you learn about ownership. And the one thing that I wouldn't take away from any of those experiences is what I learned about ownership. If you approach every single opportunity and every single problem as if you own it and you make decisions like you own the enterprise, it'll change not only your trajectory, your business, uh, but your career. And I've been fortunate to walk away from a number of experiences uh, understanding that and being able to utilize that wisdom.